Hey everybody, Jimmy Wild here from J76 Gaming and today I wanted to revisit one of my previous videos which was the how to install Freelancer in 2020 on a new Windows 10 uh, desktop. And that video turned out to be my most popular video uh, and the most helpful it seems. Um, but there was quite a few questions and there was also quite a few things that I did quite badly in that video. So I just want to kind of go through a new setup uh, in hopefully more streamlined and more informative fashion. And hopefully it's not 20 minutes long like the other one. So let's take a look. All right, first thing we need to do is go ahead and download the game. So go to old games download, go ahead and scroll down. And there's a link to Freelancer Win ISO in English 7 zip. So go ahead and save that. And you don't have to actually sign up, you can just download. And go ahead and just close that. And you can see it down here. So I've already downloaded, so we're going to skip this. So what's going to download is Freelancer Win ISO. EN 7-Zip. Now, if you already have 7-Zip installed on your computer, you can go ahead and right-click 7-Zip and extract, either here or files or however. If you don't have 7-Zip, you can go to 7-Zip.org and go ahead and download the appropriate version for your computer. Now, I've already got it unzipped, so we'll go in here. Uh, there's a couple links that you don't really need to worry about, and then you'll have an ISO. So what you want to do is just go ahead, right click and mount. All right, now that we got the ISO mounted and go ahead and scroll down to find setup.exe, go ahead, right click and run as administrator. And then yes. Now we're gonna do install because I wanna change the directory that it's installing to. So I'm gonna go to games and freelancer okay and then create desktop icon and we want to do a complete install uh, instead of just the server install so do a complete and install All right, and now that the install is completed, you will have to restart your computer, which is unfortunate, but uh, we will have to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back after a reboot and now we do have our install directory, which I brought up here. This is gonna be important in a second. And we do have our freelancer uh, shortcut on the desktop. Now, without doing anything else, I'm gonna show you what happens if you actually try to run this. And this over here so you see nothing so how do we fix that well the first thing that we'll need to do is go to the start port and you're gonna to want to familiarize yourself with this it's a very helpful site but in particular for right now we need to get the no CD exe and originally the DRM for this game was uh, is the CD in the drive and now most people don't have a CD drive or they don't have the CD um, but anyways uh, there is a exe that is fixed that we can use to run the game so you'll go ahead click on download now and that will get you a new exe file so what you want to do is go to your install directory and go into the exe folder scroll down find your freelancer exe you can either delete this or copy it to someplace else but i'm going to delete it and then you will take your new freelancer exe and copy it into the exe folder so now when we go ahead and launch freelancer oops keeps popping up the wrong window we get our eula so I have read every single word in here. Just kidding, I haven't, except. And it'll, it gives me a warning about my video card, but 
there's not much that you can do about this uh, so I do say uncheck um, this check so you don't have to click on this every time um, and yes I would like to continue and what I believe this is saying and the impact of this is the video like some of the video elements at the beginning of the game as it's launching are not gonna work I believe that is the impact I'm not positive though so we'll continue and exciting so what would normally be happening happening is the videos would be playing and say hey this is freelancer welcome so we'll kind of skip through those and voila we have a game the next step that we want to do is we want to download a new uh, DLL to allow us to edit some INI files and change the resolution and change it from full screen to windowed mode so what you want to do is you want to go to this link here um, freelancer uh, Jason's freelancer patch um, you can over you can either go ahead and run the whole patch or just get the DLLs which is what I did so I just went and grabbed this um, and that will get you a JFLP DLL dot zip and when you extract that you'll get this folder that has a text file with some release notes or an exe folder that has the DLL that you're actually looking for so what you want to do is just go ahead and drag this into your freelancer slash exe folder copy it in there and the next step will be to edit some INI files all right so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and make some edits that will allow us to change the resolution uh, so the first thing you want to do we're still in the freelancer exe folder is find your DACOM dot INI file and we're gonna go ahead right click and edit and right here you're gonna see a list of libraries and what you want to do is just add a new line and we're gonna go with jflp.d LL and I'm gonna double check that I spelled that right JFLP DLL all right so go ahead and close save that all right now another thing that we'll want to edit is freelancer INI right click edit now here's a couple important things one full screen do you want this to run full screen or not and I am going to choose no because I don't want it to so we'll set that to zero so that'll be windowed and here is our resolution so you can set this to whatever you want I will be setting it to 19 20 comma 10 80 and need to point out the text here notice there is no space that'll be important in a second 1920 comma 1080 so go ahead save that now in documents my games there should be a new folder now called freelancer and in here there is perf options ini so we'll go ahead and edit this one also right click edit and down at the bottom you can see display and your resolution is here also so notice there is a space here so what we're going to do is we're going to change this to match what I had before in the other file 1920 by 1080 and we'll go ahead and save that okay so next we have a couple more edits to make to our freelancer shortcut so we're going to go ahead and right click and go down to properties and since I want this to run in a window I'm going to go onto the shortcut target add a space dash windowed all right we'll apply that and yes I want to do make the change and then the next thing this is kind of optional you might have to do this you might not but I'm gonna show it to you either way go to compatibility and 
You may have to check run this program in compatibility mode for service pack or for Windows XP service pack and I always pick three um, and make that checked and then just to double check to make sure this is run this program as administrator because you'll need to do that so apply that and hit OK so now let's go ahead and launch freelancer again and see if we get a different result and once again it's on the wrong window So we're still not getting the intro videos, which I was expecting. So we're gonna go ahead and hit escape to get through them. And then there, now that looks a lot better, doesn't it? So there you go. All right, well, that's the video. Thanks for watching. We got ourselves all set up with Freelancer in Windows 10. I hope you learned something. I hope you got the game up and running. If you did, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, let me know in the comments and we'll try to work things out and see if we can't get it up and running. If you like this video, go ahead and drop me a like and subscribes are always important and always appreciated. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again.